Hello and a very warm welcome to episode 3 of the Hobby Factor and in today's session we're going to go through the formative assessment. This video will be divided into three parts. The first is where to find the information on bead. The second part will be an explanation of the task that you have to do. And then the third part will be the guidance from the expectations based on the rubric. So let's start at the beginning with part one. Finding the documentation on bead. You've got to go when you access on your timetable and you will go to the Monday class. So Monday the 17th of August, you will see that you will have your access to your lesson, the lesson map, so we have before, the during and the after. We're going to click on the before because we're going to do this before the class. The task is to read a task sheet to familiarize yourself with the format of task and also to read through the podcast script template to familiarize yourself with how a script as a podcast and the verbal sign post document. So there's three key documents, the formative task sheet, the podcast script template, and the verbal sign post. Part two, let's find out what you need to do. So I've opened up the formative task sheet already. So here is the task sheet. You're going to be assessed on all four criteria, knowledge and understanding, investigating, communicating, and thinking critically. So your goal is to create a podcast to explain why the invention or development that you have been researching with your partner uh, the past week is the greatest invention or development of the Industrial Revolution. Your role is that you and your partner are host of a podcast and your episode is discussing the greatest invention or development of the Industrial Revolution. The audience is target audience is people aged 14 to 17. And the situation is that um, you're working for the History Channel online. They're going to be launching a new podcast channel on Spotify, and they want your podcast to be part of their new season and series. The product. Your product has to be an 8 to 10 minute podcast with two individuals, or all three of you if you've been in a group of three. Your podcast must include an introduction to the Industrial Revolution, including the causes of the Industrial Revolution. You must describe why the invention or development that you have researched was the greatest invention or development of all of time. time basically. You need to explain how the invention or development played a significant role in the development of society during the Industrial Revolution, including the implications. This will give you your reasons and evidence to support your claim. When you're looking at the implications, you can look at and consider the political, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental factors to support your reason and evidence. You then need to explain how the, impl explain how the implications that the invention or development has had on society today. Because we're not just looking, if we're going to decide if something is the greatest invention or, or development of the Industrial Revolution, it has to still have an impact on society today. So point four is where you link the past to the present. Point five, you do need to explain another invention or development that could be considered the best, but it is not. And therein brings your counterclaim. And then you need to justify why the invention or development you have chosen deserves to be the best invention or development of the Industrial Revolution. And that forms your counter argument, and then you create your conclusion. So your point one to seven will allow you to apply your knowledge and understanding it will allow you to apply your communication skills and it will allow you to structure your podcast using the Toolman model of argument so that you're able to hit the expectations of criteria D, thinking critically. Your podcast must also include the name of your podcast and some copyright free music as a jingle. And if you're looking for copyright free music, all you need to do is to go on to YouTube and look for audio library and they have a selection of copyright free uh, intro musics that you can cut and edit and put into your podcast as a jingle so your success criteria is your rubric so criteria A, knowledge and understanding. So if we're looking at level seven and eight, 
we need you to be a when we're looking at the um, the causes of the industrial revolution you need to be mentioning the correct number of causes you need to be giving example accurate descriptions explanations and examples of not only the causes of the industrial revolution but also accurate descriptions and explanations of the invention or development that you have decided is the greatest invention um, of the industrial revolution When you look at criteria B, investigating, you would have already done the majority of this already last week. The only thing you won't have done was to evaluate the process and results of the investigation. You will do that after you have finished your podcast. Communicating. Now, communicating focuses on how you communicate your information and ideas effectively using an appropriate style for the audience and purpose and how you structure it according to the specified format, and how you document sources of information using a recognized convention. Now, already in your Big Six handout, you would have put in the sources of information uh, using the MLA, MLA 8 format, so you've satisfied criteria C3 by the work that you have in your investigation handout. The way that you structure your podcast and how you use the language appropriate for 14 to 17 year olds will give you further guidance in the bead system. And if you look, I'm going to switch back to bead now, you have podcast script template. So if you open that up. So here we see the script template and you've got two options, option one and option two. So when we're looking at criteria C, structure information and ideas in a way that is appropriate to the specified format. The format is a podcast, and therefore you need to follow the podcast script. But you do have the choice of either following option one or option two. So if you want to score highly on your criteria C2, then make sure that you pay close attention to the podcast script template and choose one of the two options and structure it accordingly. When you're looking at thinking critically, your criteria D, Discussing concepts, issues, models, and visual representations and theories. Well, the, the concept here is obviously the, the system. And we're looking at the issue, which would be the, the invention or the development. How has that changed society and impacted society? And to what extent? Okay, You're going to be bringing in um, political factors or economic factors or social factors uh, or sci uh, technological factors legal or environmental factors as well in your script to make sure that you are discussing those key concepts and issues related to the invention and the development. From the research that you have conducted and when you write your script, you're going to synthesize that information to make valid, well-supported arguments. And if you look at the instructions on the task sheet, talking about um, to make valid, well-supported arguments, By following points two, by following points one to seven, that is your structure of the argument that we're looking for you to make. Because you're basically saying why your invention or development is the best and better than a different alternative invention from the Industrial Revolution. And then we're looking at to interpret different perspectives and their implications. Again, in the instructions, it clearly asks you to look at a different perspective, i.e. a different invention, and also to consider the implications that the invention has had in the past on society and today's society. And when you're looking at the implications, you've got to really look at it and choose wisely from between the political, the economical, the social, the technological, the legal, and the environmental. By the way, that it says implications, that's plural, so you're going to have more than one factor that you discuss in your script. So that hopefully explains the requirements and the expectation of the task. Um, you will have time next week during the lessons to draft and to record your script as well. And you will be submitting this by the end of next week. Good luck with the formative task. Thanks for watching. Cheerio and take care.